Sometimes animals are quite obviously deadly. I mean, nobody ever looked at a lion and thought that it was probably fine to go and pet, but there are some really friendly looking creatures out there, and they're harboring some pretty lethal talents. A few may even have murder in mind. From a tiny cute frog that'll kill you 10 times over, to a primate with the unsociable habits of a mafia hit squad, here are 20 most dangerous land animals in the world. Number 20. Rhinoceros the critically endangered African rhino is one of the most extraordinary animals on Earth. The few that are left in the wild are still at great risk of poaching. Their horns have long been considered valuable, even though their horn is made of the very same stuff as our fingernails and nothing else. And the disgusting illegal trade in rhino horns has resulted in these animals being hunted into the verge of extinction. Where they do still exist, rhinos live in grasslands and open savanna across Kenya, Zimbabwe, South Africa, and Namibia. There are two species of African rhino. the black ones and, of course, the white ones. Although they're actually both the same gray color, which is weird. Both types of rhinoceros are incredibly powerful and very massive, weighing typically around 1,760 up to 3,090 pounds, but there have been some as big as even 6,385 pounds. You wouldn't really want one of these chaps stepping on your toes. Equipped with two horns and an extremely strong, powerful frame, the rhino's strength lies in its ability to charge at potential aggressors and overpower them with brute force. Unfortunately, the poacher still seems to have the upper hand, despite the rhino's apparent strengths and these beautiful creatures are running out of time. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 19. Cape Buffalo the African buffalo is a heavyweight in the animal kingdom, weighing in at up to 1,840 pounds with a tendency to hang around in massive herds. These beasts are powerful by their sheer size and numbers alone. The main thing with the African buffalo, though, is that these animals are generally considered prey by a whole bunch of predators as well as trophy hunters of the human variety. Being under attack from every conceivable angle can make you just a teeny bit paranoid, and these buffalo are a nervous sort of creature. Combine nerves and a temperamental personality, along with some of the bulkiest bodies out there, and you have the perfect combination for one dangerous beast. Oh, and they also have massive horns to poke you with as well. With the ability to run at 37 miles per hour, buffaloes have a few powerful defensive weapons up their sleeves. In a herd of between 50 and 500, these animals are a stampeding powerhouse, and a gang of these guys thundering in your direction is terrifying on an epic scale. In fact, they can even take out a pride of lions if they catch them unaware. Individually, though, the buffalo has its huge, bulky mass, surprisingly fast running speed, horns built for impaling, and a tendency to be unpredictable. Those big game hunters that go out in search of buffalo can sometimes get their asses handed to them, and not always in the metaphorical sense either. Number 18. Golden Poison Frog if you ever see a cute little golden poison frog, don't pet it, and certainly don't put it in your mouth, even if it looks like it may turn into a prince. You definitely don't want to kiss it either. Even their skin contains the deadly toxin that can literally make you completely dead for the rest of your days. These mini frogs may only measure an inch long, but they pack a lethal punch with enough poison to kill you 10 times over. The golden poison frog lives in the rainforests of Colombia where the indigenous Imbara people still use the frog's poison to tip their darts for hunting, as they have done for centuries. This is the very reason that these little creatures go by the name of Poison Frog. Imagine that! 
Haha, <laughs> although the particular combination of toxins in their bodies is deadly, there are some scientists who actually believe that by isolating different parts of the compound, they can discover some important medical uses. They've actually developed a synthetic version of some of this frog's unique juice that can be used as a particularly potent painkiller. As it turns out, this is a pocket-sized but powerful frog-based pharmacy. Number 17. Black Mamba, the Death Kisser Just the name of the Black Mamba is enough to strike fear in the heart of many people, and not just the ones with a snake phobia either because the black mamba's deadly bite is the stuff of legend. These large snakes, which can reach about 14 feet in length, are mainly found in sub-Saharan Africa. The mythology around the black mamba is probably mostly due to the fact that until relatively recently, there wasn't an anti-venom cure that was available, so it used to be that if you got bitten by this snake, well, unfortunately, that was the end of you. Sadly, that is still the situation for many more isolated parts of Africa where access to medical care is too far away for anti-venom to be administered quickly enough to save a person who's been bitten. And despite the fact that there are stories of black mambas chasing people and biting them, these snakes are mostly going to try to avoid contact with humans. It's only the result of the expansion of human environments into the snake's territory that ends up resulting and more contact at all. And if the snake feels threatened in any way, it gets really aggressive. Combine that with extraordinary speed and fast-working neurotoxic venomous bite, and you've got a powerfully potent death dealer. Number 16. The African Elephant one of the most beloved of all the African animals is also the largest land animal on the planet. And boy, are these magnificent creatures big. Growing up to 13 feet tall, weighing in at a colossal two and a half to even up to seven tons, there's no doubt that these animals must have some power credentials too. Elephants are the strongest of all land animals. Not much can really survive their tree-felling strength, and even a lion can be overcome by a stampeding one. But it seems as though the elephant's best defense is actually using its brain power. Because while working together to protect the whole herd, an elephant's experience can literally save their lives. Despite the African elephant's incredible significance and enormous popularity, these animals still remain at risk of extinction. They're classified as critically endangered, which means that if things continue this way, there will be no more wild elephants for future generations to see. And not only that, these extraordinary animals are a keystone species. That basically means that their habits and behavior are essential for the ecosystem, from helping spread seeds so that plants will grow, to digging and creating watering holes. The African elephant is actually doing vital work. If the elephant does cease to exist, then their entire habitat and everything that lives there will end up suffering as well. Sometimes power is more than just physical strength. Number 15. The Grizzly Bear the massive, hulking figure of the grizzly bear is the familiar symbol of the North American landscape, and it's well known that these colossal creatures can be pretty dangerous. As apex predators, grizzlies are at the top of the food chain, which basically means that they can eat whatever they gosh darn like, and nobody's going to stop them. They eat a really broad diet from nuts and berries to other non-dangerous sounding vegetarian snacks, all the way through to large mammals like moose and bison and basically everything in between. Because the grizzly bear hibernates during winter, these animals need to store up lots and lots of fat during the summer and autumn months in order to keep them going through the cold. So, they can often be found snarfing down mountains of freshwater salmon, gorging on the fatty fish to boost their own essential flab. Mostly solitary, grizzlies do tend to roam the wilderness alone like a deep, meaningful music video or a wistful poet. But don't let their sad appearance fool you. These dangerous bears can run at 30 miles per hour, which is faster than you can, trust me. And they do pose a real threat to humans if they feel in danger or their cubs are nearby, or indeed if they have a sore head. Number 14. The African Lion 
The mighty African lion is literally a symbol for strength, power, and bravery. There must be some pretty good reasons that these big cats have been seen as totems of strength throughout history. So let's find out just how powerful this African lion really is. African lions are the second largest of the big cats, only the tiger is slightly bigger. They have extremely strong muscular bodies with powerful legs and shoulders built to stalk, chase, and jump. And although a lion doesn't spend much time running because they prefer a more laid-back lifestyle, they can actually reach a speed of 50 miles per hour when they do decide to break out some moves. Another superpower unique to these big cats is their incredible roaring ability. An African lion's roar can actually reach up to 114 decibels, kind of like standing next to the amp at a really loud concert. And it can be heard from five miles away. Lions are certainly very powerful, but they don't waste their energy and spend up to 16 to even 20 hours a day resting or sleeping. Oh, the dream life. They eat up to a quarter of their own body weight at every meal, so it's little wonder why these guys need to sleep it off. Number 13. Hippopotamus from one set of powerful jaws to another, the hippopotamus has a mighty bite that puts it amongst the most powerful jawed creatures on the planet. These big beasts are really aggressive, but they mostly use their jaws to eat plants, up to 80 pounds of grass a day in fact. Hippos are generally herbivores, although they do sometimes eat dead animals, which includes the occasional hippo as well. <laughs> Yikes! A grumpy hippo will show its displeasure by opening its mouth really super wide in a super threatening manner, or by charging towards the source of its irritation. Kinda sounds like my grandmother. Either way, they may look cute, but keep a safe distance, because these creatures can be fatally bad-tempered. Apart from the hippo's mighty jaw, their immense weight is another source of their power. A charging hippo is a scary sight to behold, and they can, and frequently do, squash living things to death, even if by accident. Even though that looks like a grin, these guys are not as friendly as they may seem. Interactions with humans can be fatal. Hippo attacks are known to kill as many as 500 people per year, and these deadly animals are fiercely territorial, defending their space with the use of deadly force without a second thought. So you should really be careful where you paddle that canoe. Number 12. The Komodo Dragon the wonderfully weird Komodo dragon has the honor of being the world's heaviest lizard, and it doesn't disappoint. These guys are really big and absolutely awesome. Even though they can't fly or breathe fire for that matter, there is something that's really extraordinary that blows my mind. Komodo dragons are huge, but it's easy to find out their weight because they do come with scales after all, and they can weigh more than 300 pounds. But when you consider that these guys can eat 80% of their own weight in just one meal, that explains how they manage to get to such an impressive size. Oh, and these big monitor lizards, they're actually psychos. Seriously, they have some of the most ruthless and downright terrifying murder skills in the animal kingdom. Even though they might look a little cute and entertaining at times, the Komodo dragon has a nasty, venomous bite, which means that even if their prey does manage to escape their powerful jaws, they're still in deep, deep trouble. The venom works its way slowly, causing gradual paralysis for the unfortunate recipient until they're eventually rendered completely helpless. That's when the dragon will begin its feast. As if the idea of being slowly eaten alive by a savage lizard isn't enough to give you nightmares, then you should know that these guys do in fact sometimes partake of the odd human, and they aren't really fussy if that human happens to be alive or dead. These grave robbing reptiles are known for digging up corpses and eating them. For the Komodo dragon, the more stinking and rotten the flesh, the better. Number 11. Brazilian Wandering Spiders the distinctly sinister-sounding wandering spider has the dubious privilege of being considered the world's most venomous spider by the Guinness Book of World Records. But just how bad could that really be? 
Well, as it turns out, it can be very, very bad indeed. So if you find yourself wandering the Brazilian forest, be sure to be careful where you step. These extraordinary arachnids don't build webs to catch their prey. They actually wander the forest floor during the night and hunt it down. This scary spider is a fan of both ambush hunting and the classic direct attack. Although they mainly hunt and eat other spiders and insects, these creatures are also known to munch on mice, reptiles, and amphibians. So they probably won't bite a human in order to eat it as such, but it will bite if threatened or surprised, and that is going to hurt. A bite from a Brazilian wandering spider will usually kind of go like this. It begins with extreme burning where the victim was bitten, followed by sweating and goosebumps, and then the nasty stuff. I'm sure I'm not doing a great deal for you arachnophobes out there, but trust me, which can include high or low blood pressure and faster, slow heartbeat. And this varies as the body tries to figure out how to handle the systemic attack. Then a combination of sickness, stomach pains, vertigo, blurred vision, hypothermia, heavy sweating, and convulsions as the shock sets in. But wait, there's more. The severity of this reaction will depend on how much venom is actually in the bite, but you can't really tell until it's too late. The good news? <laughs> if you're unlucky enough to be bitten by one of these spiders, you should seek immediate medical treatment, and that will probably fix you right up. The things they can do with anti-venom and all that are really amazing these days. Number 10. The Cassowary now, if there was ever a bird that showed the likely evolution of dinosaurs into modern birds, this one, I mean, come on, look at it, is probably it. Tell me that's not a ruddy dinosaur. The cassowary has been given the ominous title of world's most dangerous bird, and there's a very good reason for this. These crazy looking flightless birds can kill you with one swipe of their foot. No, seriously, cassowaries are native to parts of Asia and Australia, and as a listed dangerous exotic bird, so if you want to breed them, you're gonna need a permit. The blue-faced, helmet-headed cassowary can grow as tall as 6 feet 6 inches and weigh up to as much as 132 pounds. So if one of these attacks, it's not exactly like being set upon by a sparrow. The cassowary is equipped with a lethal weapon, having three toes on each foot, and one of these toes is essentially a dagger. It's been recorded that cassowaries have literally eviscerated humans with this knife-sharp toenail. It's so efficient that it can easily sever a limb from a person. That is one dangerous toe. These birds do need some serious podiatrist intervention. A 75-year-old man in Florida was once attacked by his own cassowaries at his home and was so badly injured by the attack that he actually died. These modern-day dinosaurs can and just might kill you. Number 9. The Hooded Pitahui now don't be fooled by this little bird's innocent appearance, because the pitahui is actually poisonous. The only bird on the planet that's known to have toxic feathers, in fact. The guy that discovered the bird's secret weapon didn't actually realize that he had a lucky escape, because after catching the pitahui in a net, he touched his face after handling the birds and his lips then went numb. Alarmed by the discovery, although he really should have probably been practicing hand-washing hygiene, don't you think? He then sent some of the bird's feathers in for analysis, and the results would show that the little bird was actually full of a toxin that was so deadly that it's literally what's used to make poison arrows. The only other place that this toxin is found is the skin of the poisonous dart frog. It seems as though the pitahui don't actually make the deadly toxin in their bodies, they actually get it from their food. They're particularly partial to beetles which contain the toxin. The birds, although unaffected themselves, by eating the beetles, do make themselves toxic to other would-be predators. Their bright shock of orange feathers may actually be like a natural world warning label. So I guess the whole moral of the story here, don't go licking birds, at least not the poisonous ones. Number 8. Tiger. Beautiful. Mysterious, beloved. 
tigers are the biggest of all big cats, and are also amongst the most dangerous beasts in all of the animal kingdom. So the thing with tigers is that they're pretty massive, they're fast, and they have a lot of really pointy things that they're not afraid to use. Their claws each measure 4 inches, and their teeth are 3 inches long and presented in a huge and extremely powerful jaw. The perfect combination for doing a lot of violent dining. Although tigers don't favor humans for their tea time, there are a whole bunch of reasons that these scary animals are more frequently getting into a man-eating situation. There are estimated to be only about 3,200 tigers left in the wild, but their habitats are being eroded by the expansion of human towns and cities into the places where tigers live. Add to that the fact that humans do still seem hell-bent on killing as many of them as possible for their skin, bone, and alleged magical medicinal properties, and their numbers stand very little chance of recovery. So for now, tigers are hunted by humans, and they're actually also being pushed out by humans. So this means that those humans are having quite a lot of contact with these apex predators. And that means that tigers are kind of getting used to people, and they don't really fear us anymore. And that is bad news for you and me. In fact, that is bad news to the sound of at least 50 people killed by tigers per year in one area of India alone. Some estimates even put that number at 250 people. And yet, somehow, Joe Exotic survived? Number 7. Inland Taipan Snake Australia is filled to the brim with animals that can kill you. It never ceases to amaze me that anyone manages to actually survive out there given all the opportunities for instant and painful death that are available on a daily basis. It is the land of opportunity for creatures with a penchant for assassination. Take the inland taipan snake, for example. This snake is simply stuffed with a venom that's so toxic it can kill you dead many times over. The potent venom is made all the more effective by the built-in delivery system it contains and has a type of enzyme that speeds up the spreading factor of the deadly toxin inside a bite victim's body. So that's really nice for them. Not only is it intensely poisonous, it's also got an adaptation to make sure that it gets you good and dead all over. Luckily, these super executioners aren't really all that feisty and mostly won't be out there spoiling for a fight anytime soon, but not to worry. There are plenty of other deadly Australian creatures who can get that done for you instead. Number 6. The Spotted Hyena Perhaps most famous for being scavengers, spotted hyenas are also extremely powerful hunters. They use their skills as a group to effectively hunt and catch prey with terrifying efficiency. However, they are just as likely to let a lion make a kill and then use their threatening pack skills in order to drive the big cat away and steal its supper. <laughs> Hyenas are always in a massive pack. The proper word for a group of hyenas is a clan. And for starters, there is safety in numbers, but these animals also know that when they work together, they're much stronger and more effective hunters. They can pursue their prey for several miles at a speed of around 37 miles per hour, and this can really tire out an animal that's unfortunate enough to be the target of a hyena clan. When they do finally catch up to it, it can be very hard to get away from the pack. They have every route covered, and they'll begin taking turns nipping at and biting the trapped prey. Prey. The idea of hyenas circling, hooting, and laughing is actually a fairly accurate depiction. These animals are intimidating, and the greater their number, the more dangerous they are. The true strength of this African animal lies in their superior tactical skills and their mockingly relentless teamwork. Like a group of the very worst bullies on the playground, all working together to smack you around and steal your lunch. Number 5. Gorilla 
Gorillas are amongst the closest relatives to humans in the animal kingdom, and as great apes, we share a lot of juice with these extraordinary animals. We all know just how dangerous human beings can be, so if gorillas share any of the psychotic attributes that people seem to have, then these big guys could actually turn out to be very dangerous indeed. Actually though, it does seem as though gorillas are kind of gentle giants most of the time anyway, and it's just people who are the jerks. But I think we already knew that, didn't we? Gorillas are dangerous when they feel threatened or when a couple of silverbacks are fighting each other, and it's then, if you are anywhere in the vicinity, that it's time to make yourself scarce. When a gorilla feels threatened, they'll likely let you know. A gorilla sends warning signs by stamping their feet, beating on their chests, and making a whole ton of noise. This is all to warn off any potential threat, and sometimes that's enough to get the message across. And if not, that's where the trouble really begins. Gorillas, they fight dirty. They'll bite and scratch and drag their victim around. It's a mess, kind of like an Old West bar brawl, except you're almost definitely going to wind up dead. Number four, the tsetse fly. Well, this little fly is the stuff of horrific nightmares. If you could conceive a really nasty and dangerous creature, you may be unlikely to come up with something so innocuous as a little fly. However, the tsetse fly not only has a horrible bite, but it can also actually kill you. This fly's mouth is full of serrated parts that literally saw into the skin and suck out the blood. A bite from one of these things actually hurts, but it doesn't end there. These hideous bugs also transmit diseases, and not just the common cold either. The blighters are gobbing a deadly disease known as sleeping sickness into the veins of their victims. The disease is passed on by a parasite that some flies can transmit in their gross mouth juice when they bite someone, and if untreated, the victim then falls into a deep and ultimately fatal sleep. But sometimes the parasite's able to lay dormant in the human body for years, all before suddenly taking hold and plunging the infected person into a dark and possibly endless slumber. So, despite its diminutive size, this fly is as powerful as an evil fairy tale witch. Only the tsetse doesn't really care who it curses. Number 3 African Leopards. The magnificent African leopard is such a beautiful creature to look at. These big cats are like the ultimate hunting machines, blending in so well to their environment that most prey can't even spot them. And even more, they can see in the dark seven times better than humans can. They're almost always completely silent when stalking their prey, and they can leap up to 20 feet, so their prey doesn't really stand a chance even if they do happen to notice that they're being stalked by the perfectly camouflaged, light-footed ninja leopard. All in all though, the leopard is so effective at hunting, even before you factor in all their strengths and pointy teeth attributes, that these extremely agile big cats are able to run at 36 miles per hour and bring down any prey with swift efficiency, then dragging their dinner all the way up into a tree. Leopards are solitary animals, so they need to protect their food from scavengers and big old lazy lions who are just gonna wait for the leopard to do all the work and then rudely steal the lunch. Their ability to climb gives these impressive animals a way to avoid going hungry. Number two, wolves. Wolves have a bit of a bad reputation. They've been the standard baddies in many a fairy tale, and have been associated with dark forces since ancient times. These animals are certainly dangerous in some circumstances, that's for sure. But has all that bad press given us the wrong idea about the big bad wolf? The wolf is a social animal, and these legendary creatures gain a good deal from living in packs. The strict hierarchy of the pack is one of the ways that wolves are able to stay safe and to hunt so efficiently. The wolf pack that works together is going to find and catch prey, because six heads are better than one after all. The wolf's howl is like its fingerprint, completely individual to each one. They're able to use their extraordinary voices to communicate across a great distance and to warn others off of their territory. These animals are pretty much minding their own business out there. 
Mostly just trying to survive and not really get killed by a trigger-happy human who believes that all that stuff about wolves finding the taste of grandmothers utterly irresistible. Most of the things that we think we know about wolves comes down to fairy tales and folklore. Incidents in which wolves attack humans are actually really rare though. In fact, in the last century alone, there are really only two cases of wolves killing a human being in North America. Wolves do generally avoid human interaction, and I expect that they probably feel a little bit insulted by all the mean stories that people make up about them. Don't you? Number 1. Chimpanzee These are some really bad apes. The chimpanzee is a violent thug with tactical and calculating abilities that are not really dissimilar to our own. We humans do share more of our genetic blueprint with chimps than any other animal, a staggering 98.7%. And although we evidently have the same good looks as these guys, the thing that we share the most is aggression. The chimpanzee is as aggressive as a guy who's been drinking all day, has taken his shirt off, and is looking for a fight outside of a bar in Camden on a Saturday night. Not that I have ever done that. These guys are baby-eating ruthless killers. They eat other primates without giving it a second thought, and are known to steal and kill human infants if they do get the chance. Honestly, the chimpanzee is like all the worst, most violent parts of humanity in its personality. They live in family groups and are extremely territorial, which kind of sounds familiar, doesn't it? Chimpanzees also often get embroiled in warfare with other groups over territory or dominance. And it does get pretty bloody indeed. Fights between dominant males can easily result in death, and these battles can be long and drawn out, lasting for years with regular violent outbursts and land disputes. It's all a bit too close to home, isn't it? But don't get me wrong, these animals do have some redeeming features. Just don't get fooled by all that monkey business, because chimpanzees are not mucking about. Also, be careful not to look at them the wrong way. They wouldn't actually think twice about ripping your face off. Who knew just how dangerous it actually gets out there? Please excuse me while I go build myself a nice safe bunker away from all this deadly stuff and underground. Be sure to leave your comments below. Also check out the other cool stuff showing up on the screen, and I'll see you next time.